What, oh, geez, that was bright light. What is this? Am I just randomly picking up my camera to film like I used to? I am. Today is Monday, the 7th of September. I just finished my fourth book of the month. What? And I decided that I'm gonna film the next few books that I'm reading for this month because I'm feeling really good. So let's see, let's see what's on the table, literally. So these are the books that I am looking forward to finishing for the rest of the week. We've got Neuromancer by William Gibson, which is an adult sci-fi. We've got Daphne du Maurier's debut novel, The Loving Spirit. Oh my god, I'm so excited, I'm so excited! And then we've got Orion Lost, which is a uh, middle gray sci-fi so we've got two sci-fi and i believe this one is a mystery there we go like a mystery so these are the three books that i'm balancing and as you can see here's my tbr shelf it's looking pretty sparse but i moved a bunch of my books over here so these are the books that i showed you or most of the books that i showed you um in my books I want to get through. Why isn't this focusing? There we go. So these are the books I showed you, or I mostly showed you. I didn't show you these. I showed you uh, this one, this one, this one, and this one, so I didn't show you these. But these are basically the books I want to get through most in autumn. Over here I have my spoopy reads. This is my October TBR, but you'll see more of that later. And yes, so I'm going to try to keep these updates brief because this is going to be a week long reading vlog. So I'm going to go and I'm going to update you um, on which book I decide to read. But I'm pretty sure it's going to be Neuromancer because I really need some adult sci-fi in my life. And even though I don't like The Matrix, even though I dress like I'm in The Matrix, oh, I'll show you my outfit. I haven't done that also in a while because I haven't felt body positive enough to do it. This is me moving my chair just to actually get to my mirror. Nothing really special, but you know, I do dress like I live in Zion, basically, most of the time. Just loose fitting pants and this shirt, which I wear all the time. And my hair is always sticking. I am so sorry that every time I turn around in my video, you see my hair sticking up like this. It does what it wants. I just let it do its thing. You know, it's growing out. It's my fault. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Welcome to the weekly vlog. Let's see if I get anything read because every time I'm like, yeah, I'm going to read a ton. And it's like, I read this brochure. <laughs> you know? But, let's see how it goes. So, I picked which book I was gonna read, and it's Neuromancer, and I'm 50 pages in, and I have no fucking clue what's going on, but I'm loving it. It's giving me all of the Blade Runner, like, vibes of, like, cyberpunk, old-styled goodness. By the way, this golden moment I'm having is incredible. But yeah, I have no idea what's going on so far, so this is very Philip K. Dick E. <laughs> but I'm really enjoying it because I really needed some Blade Runner goodness in my life, and I feel that this is giving it to me. Um, I don't know how much reading I'm gonna do because I did finish another book today, and before that, like, I, fin I finished one book, and it was quite a while of reading. I, I, re I was reading for, like, I would say, like, four hours. And I've been reading for 20 minutes now, and my brain is starting to go fry. So if I read any more, I'm going to let you know. But just so you know, I picked up Neuromancer, and I think I can finish this tomorrow because I don't have that many classes yet. So we'll see because it is a confusing read. Uh, every time I read anything Philip K. Dick like, it's really confusing. But so far I'm enjoying it. There's been a lot of sex. There's been a lot of drugs. There's been a lot of the word matrix was used. Um, 
what's going on so far so from what I gather is this man was part of a group of people that could go into the matrix which is cyberspace and he lost that ability and then somebody takes out a hit on him but he finds somebody that wants to give him back the ability to go in the matrix along with fixing his liver which is a very important part by the way <laughs> and um he accepts but you know these things come with high prices so i think he's about to figure out what that high price is so i'm like i said i'm only 50 pages in which is the shopping expedition which is part two read the first two chapters my cat is being a nuisance and i'm gonna go and play some video games or something because my head is tired because I'm reading this in audio. I don't know if I said that. Audiobooks are the jam, are the bomb.com when you're in a kind of a reading slump. Because I am kind of in a reading slump, but I'm like getting out of it. So yeah, that's what I'm reading so far. And I think I will update you if I read more or I'll update you tomorrow or something. Good morning, it is Tuesday the 8th, <laughs> of course, yesterday was the 7th, today is the 8th. I am still reading, reading Neuromancer and I'm on page, let me tell you the page that I am at, if I can find it. I am on page like 120, okay? Um, so far, my thoughts. <laughs> I have a vague notion of what's going on in this book, but that vague notion is my jam. I love this Blade Runner style, Matrix, old school sci-fi. I am like, I don't, I'm not even sure what's going on, but I'm loving whatever it's going on. So that's what's going on with this. I plan on finishing this today. And then I know I said I was gonna, I, I should. I should pick up next. I'm not sure about the loving spirit. I think I'm gonna leave that for uh, when it's colder out. But I think I'm gonna pick up Orion Lost. This looks like a lot of fun and something I can finish during the week. Updates, yeah. I'm actually headed into work right now. Which, so excited, I haven't been into work. I, I've, been, I've been working, but I haven't been into work in a while. So, I'm gonna grab my shit and get ready to go and then when I get home in a couple of hours I'm gonna dig into Neuromancer which I am absolutely loving also my makeup is kind of giving me the feels and the vibes talk to you later it's me again and I came home from work and I put on my earphones and I finished Neuromancer how do I feel about this book I um I loved the aesthetic of it. I loved everything about it. I just have no idea what happened. <laughs> the, look, if you like Philip K. Dick, you're gonna love this book because the writing style is so similar. Where at some points I was like, is this a Philip K. Dick novel? But it's not. It's it's a it's a William Gibson novel. It was it was my Blade Runner sci-fi itch that was scratched that I needed but it's definitely not gonna be the best sci-fi that I've ever read you know it made me feel kind of dumb it's one of those books where I'm like am I just not getting it but then I talked to my best friend who's like one of the smartest people I know and she was like no I didn't get it either so that made me feel better but that's one book finished and um I think next I'm gonna pick up Orion Lost, which is the middle grade sci-fi. But I don't know because I got Severance by Ling Ma, and then I have a few others that I kind of want to pick up. So when I decide, I'll let you know. But for now, one book down, not bad at all. That's by the way. I put on the because I want winter, <laughs> and I I don't want winter. I want autumn. So I put on. The nice little chimney and and I put down the blinds and we've got the cats here 
cat one, cat two, and there's Rodrigo. And I've just been chilling here with that on. And yeah. So I'll let you know what else we're reading this week. Morning, everyone. It is Wednesday, the 9th of September. I, I looked it up right before I filmed this clip. And yesterday, I ended up not starting Orion Lost. Instead, I found that Scribd has Severance. I, you can't see that. But anyway, Severance by Ling Ma on it. And this is like... This book was on my wish list of things I want for my birthday. And I'm trying not to put books on my wish list because I want to get my physical TBR down to zero. That's something that we haven't talked about. But anyway, uh, so far, I am loving it. But if you're sensitive to, you know, the P word, pandemic, I would not read this book at all. This hits way too close to home it's way too real but i like that it's kind of like a funnier take i've heard that the first half is a little bit slow and then the second half is like super fast and, and like super fast paced and everything but i'm thoroughly enjoying the experience and i hope to finish it today also my face is super puffy because i went to bed with allergies and woke up with allergies such is life na, 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 na. okay well uh that's my update i am currently reading severance by ling ma and well audio reading and then i will pick up orion lost because like i said i want to get my physical tbr down at if not to zero the closest to zero that i can maybe to five books because right now it's a little bit on the not small size but anyway, um, I know that some people don't mind that, but I think I find that I am the person that does. I'm looking over there because I've got my spooky October, November reads. And there's like a lot of fun stuff in there. I'm so excited. But anyway, uh, yeah, that's my update. I am 25% into this. This is a short book, so I'm listening to it to it at 2.5 speed and it's six hours let's do the math i need to use a calculator that's two and a half hours gonna bang this one out today feels so good <laughs> anyway i've got class and then i'll be right back update time so i am 60 percent into severance and oh my god I think this book is going to make it probably into my top 10 of the year. It's so good. It talks about immigration. It talks about like the isolation of being an immigrant. It talks about how sometimes you're forced into immigration and it feels like you're basically a prisoner even though this is something you chose. It's so fucking good. And I don't know, it's like a mix of 28 days later, but like there's no zombies. Like the, the, the fungal infection in this world, what it does is like it basically makes people not alive, but not in an aggressive manner. So it makes them zombies, but not really zombie, zombies, you know, not like, oh, I'm going to eat your flesh zombies, but... Uh, zombies that have basically just walk around doing the same things, trying to turn on the TV, trying to um, dress themselves and stuff like that. So, it's so, oh my god, it's so good. I'm about to go on a walk. I'm about to take a little hike <laughs> and I'm going to bring the audiobook with me. I have three hours left. So, I was thinking like, you know, I could take a walk for an hour and I'm listening at 3x speed now because I'm so into it so I think I'm gonna do that and um, finish another book <laughs> who am I <laughs> but anyway um, wow I'm definitely asking this for my birthday because I want a physical copy of it this is the second Asian not dystopian but um, speculative fiction you know kind of thing that i read that i really 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 like and i like that it's a translated version so yeah i'm gonna go take a hike oh, sorry my nose is like leaking <laughs> 
So I'm gonna go take a hike and hopefully finish this book. I'm not gonna wear this. I'm gonna take some of these clothes off because it's kind of hot out today. But it was cold in my room, so. All right, talk to you later. I must look like a hot mess. Oh, but that was a good walk. Oh man, that was really nice. I actually feel really good. And I finished Severance by Ling Ma. And you know how I was saying like I could take it off my birthday wish list? I actually want to own that book. It's so good. The narration in it is amazing. I think that the way it's constructed is amazing. It gave off like, what's it called? I have it over there. Ah, yes. Station Eleven with uh, Dawn of the Dead vibes. But gentler and, and I, I'm, I, am, I am flabbergasted. It was such an incredible book. 100% recommend. I don't know if I'm screaming because of my headphones. Oh, my glasses. sunglasses are there too. Oh, look at that. Um, yeah, it's hot outside. I walked for an hour and 10 minutes to finish the book. Literally, I was like, I'll just finish the book while I walk. Oof, I have a test that I have to administer to a student. That sounds very medical. It's just me talking to them on the phone in about how long hello okay in about an hour so i'm gonna chill out and oh yes up next let's go to my messy um this is by the way this is my work area uh we're gonna go with orion lost next and then after that the city we became by mk jensen very exciting reading week if i do say so myself but um, yeah, I need a shower, I need to hydrate, and all that fun stuff. But you know what? I really felt good going out for a walk. I think I should do this more often with my audiobooks. So yeah, another book down. Very proud of myself. And I don't know if you can tell, but I feel a lot better than I have been. So there's that. Obviously that's the reason why I'm reading so much. <laughs> anyway. Um, I'll talk to you guys when I pick up a new book or you know when I have anything to update you on Hey, it's me again looking still a little bit like I went out for <laughs> a run But anyway, I picked up Orion Lost and I'm on page 66, but I'm about to start my afternoon classes I only have a little bit to do today, so I might make a big dent in this today But I did have something to say about it. That's why I picked up my camera and that is that the kids here act like this could be a YA book because the kids act the same as people in YA books and this is a middle grade. And that's what I keep saying about YA characters and the way they act. Like they try to either make them act way too adult or they like are like little kids acting like adults. And you know, in this book, the little kids are trying to act like adults or you know, like they're trying and that's how I feel YA is written. But in here, it's actually written really well because the character's age matches their personality. So, and I know people um, mature at different ages, but I just felt like saying that. I So far, I'm really enjoying this book. It's a little bit cliche and a little bit, I don't know. It's, it's a palate cleanser after um, Severance, which was pretty intense. But yeah, I just wanted to let you know that I am almost 70 pages into this and that my arm is trembling because I am weak and I'm gonna go now and teach my class and then um, read a lot more of this. Good morning everyone, it's Thursday the 10th of September and I just picked up again, which I can't grab with one hand apparently, Orion Lost by Alistair his home his home chis home i don't know how to say that but anyway i haven't read much today because i've been teaching all day well not all day okay i've been in bed and i've been teaching and i've been watching some booktube and filming some videos so i'm gonna pick this up now and see how far i can get into it before my next class i have a very strange schedule today like i had class from 10 to 11 then i have class from 1 30 to 2 30 and then i have class from 5 to 6. it's a disaster but 
I'm really excited to get to this again. And well, that's my update for now. I'll talk to you when I have anything more exciting to say. Guess what? I finished Orion Lost by Alistair Chrisholm and I loved it. Oh my goodness, what a wild, crazy ride. I have to say, well-written characters, the kids read like kids. I think that this is what YA should be. Like, the kids read like kids that actually grow up during the, you know, thing, the, the story. <laughs> <laughs> and but in the end they continue to be kids because 16 is really 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 young so I absolutely loved it I love the like uh, mystery element of course it, it, it is a middle grade but it's on the higher end of middle grade so you're gonna catch on pretty quickly I didn't catch on as quickly as I thought I would but you know it's not like it's not hard sci-fi and I, I loved it. I loved the, I, I loved every character here. It was so much fun. And yeah, I, <laughs> I can't believe I finished another book and that I actually really, 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 really enjoyed it. <laughs> so with that being said, that means that today is the day. I'm going to put this here for now. But after my last class of the day and while I go to bed, I'm going to pick up the city we became by Anne K. Jemison. And I am looking forward to this so much. But I'll let you know what I feel about it when um, I have read anything of it. And my, my lunch is burning, so I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Good morning. It's Friday the 11th and my house is a mess. I'm trying to find like a new angle to show you because I feel like I'm always in the exact same place and yes my hair is pulled back I hate wearing my hair pulled back but uh, there was nothing to do with it this morning I woke up late so let's talk about this this so far has been such an interesting experience and it's so good I love NK Jemisin's writing um, this is about the birth of New York and like every city has like a representation like an avatar that represents it and now a kind of evil force is attacking New York who is like a newborn city and it's it's so interesting but I'm not sh like I kind of want to put this down right now because I'm not in the mood for it I kind of want to go into my sci-fi reads that I am doing for Space Opera September but I decided that, you know what, I'm going to stick to my schedule because I'm going to show you my cute little schedule that I printed at work. So these are the books that I plan to read this month. You've already seen all this, so there's no surprises here. Um, and this is the ideal timeline. And over here, as you can see, I had already finished these. So I just like kind of crossed them out with my beautiful gray highlighter. Isn't that cool? So the next one should be The City We Became by N.K. Jameson. If you're wondering what the three day, three here is, it's it should take me about three days to read it. So I have, but I have two others that are like calling my name. And I kind of want to get a novella out of the way. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with my reading for Friday. I think I'm just going to stick to that book. Oh, I'm sorry. You can see the mess behind me. Look, it's Friday. I've been working all week. I'm like taking breaks between work to film, so <laughs> please don't judge me too harshly. But anyway, um, yeah, I think I'm just going to finish The City We Became. I'm really enjoying it. And that way I have the whole month to enjoy sci-fi and space operas. I have a few here that are not space operas, but you know what? Those don't count for the space opera. Um, September read-along, read-a-thon thing that I'm doing. I can't believe I'm doing a read-a-thon. Uh, you're seeing this after I posted that I am doing it, like my secret TBR. So, no surprises there. But yeah, um, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I technically could finish The City We Became today. We'll see how much I get into it because it's kind of like a confusing book. Not confusing in a bad way, but it's a book that you should pay attention to, that you should give your time to. So yeah, I started it yesterday. I read 25%. No, I read 15%. And then let's see how it goes today. 
if I finish it today, I'll just be so happy because I'll be one day ahead of schedule and I'm like that person that likes to be ahead of schedule. But yeah, um, right now I have a bunch of uh, tests to do because we have new students and they don't know their levels. So I have to give them phone calls and it's going to take two hours and yeah, we'll see what happens. I'll let you know as soon as I have anything to let you know. Here's the good light. Talk to you later. Hello there. Oh, I left the book somewhere. Anyway, <laughs> so I continued reading. Um, it's called The City We Became. I'm about 50% through it, so I've got about eight hours left, which means I'm gonna haul ass and finish it today. I also want to address something. This is not a typical reading week for me. This is a reading week before I start, like, like straight on with classes. After this, I'm just gonna have like an hour or two hours to read per night. So this is just nothing like what you would normally see. This is literally me at my top notch reading. Like I would normally finish max three books per week. Max, like incredible week. And I'm finishing five this week. So just wanted to say that um, I decided to continue with The City We Became because it's just so well written and so beautiful. And I'm all sweaty because it's hot again. Oh the last week of heat here but anyway so yeah um I think you really do have to have a love for New York City if you're gonna enjoy this book to its full potential and I don't have any love for New York City so I am not enjoying it to its full potential but it's still a really good book does that make sense I hope that makes sense but anyway I've got another class now and then I'm gonna haul ass and read this book and I'll let you know either tonight or tomorrow how it went. Hello everyone, it's Saturday the 12th and I actually finished this last night. Um, I posted about it on Twitter and on Goodreads, but basically my thoughts on this are if you like New York City, if you have ever wanted to go to New York City, if you are bedazzled by the idea of New York City, you will love this book. I am not that person, so while I loved the writing because the writing was great, I just... it uh, I didn't enjoy it that much because I have no love in my heart for New York City as a city. So, uh, I mean, I don't want anything to happen to New York City ever, but, you know, it's not like, oh, I just, I just want to go to New York and, you know, I, I never had that. I also went to New York often when I was younger because I lived in Florida and we would go to New York and whatever, my, 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 my parents had friends there. So, I just wasn't enamored with this book. So, I gave this book three stars. With that being said, this was the fifth book I read in five days. That's right, I read five books in five days, Monday through Friday. So this is a bit of a wrap up for that. So this is the one that I finished on Friday. I'm, I'm not gonna do them in order because I forgot the order, but I also read Orion Lost by Alastair Kisholm and I absolutely love this. I feel that this is like the, the, the way that YA should be written. I feel like the characters in this were so real. They, they felt like children put into an adult situation and I think they solved problems like children would solve problems and 16 year old are children so there you go I love this book I 100% recommend it and I, I kind of I don't know it this this set me off on this space opera journey that I'm on at the moment and I loved it the other, I think this is the first book I read actually, is The Wild Robot by Peter Brown. I found out this is part of a duology. I might pick up the second book. I gave this four, oh, I gave this 4.5 out of 5 stars. <laughs> I gave this uh, 4 stars. This is about, well, a little robot that wakes up in the wild and she doesn't know why she's there and she ends up adopting a little bird and it's really cute. But I did find it that it was on the low, low spectrum of middle grade so uh, I didn't like it that much although it, I, it got me interested in the sequel so I'm gonna try to read the sequel maybe we'll see 
The other book I read, <laughs> which was a trip, was Neuromancer by William Gibson. And I ended up giving this 3.5 stars. I love this setting. I love all the Blade Runner grimy cyberpunk feel of it. But this is definitely, if you like Philip K. Dick, this is the book for you because I felt like I was reading Philip K. Dick and you all know that Philip K. Dick's writing for me, I just don't get it. I'm lost the entire time. So um, I was lost during most of this and yet what I did understand I liked, but there were parts where I was just like, what the fuck is happening? I don't even know what's happening here. <laughs> And the last book that I read and my favorite book that I read this week is Severance by Ling Ma. I gave this 5 out of 5 stars. Absolutely adored it. You guys saw me read it. It was great. I just... I'm so happy that I picked it up and I'm definitely putting it on my birthday wish list so that I can have a physical copy of it because it's just so good. However, just big warning out there is the current world situation with the virus affects you in a negative way do not read this book just don't do that to yourself that's just not a good plan anyway those are the five books i read in five days technically i read a sixth one but i finished it after midnight so i'm not gonna count it and either way that one is for a space opera september so you'll see it in my uh wrap up at the end of the month i will be mentioning these books in my wrap up at the end of the month but i'll let you know so that you can skip that if you already watched this video so yeah that's it i've had a really good week i don't know if you guys can like see the difference um, in in like me compared to previous vlogs, I definitely have felt it. I've worked really hard with my doctor, with myself, and I think we're getting somewhere. I hope it continues. That's all I have for you. I think this video is long enough as it is. So without any further ado, I bid you adieu. I thank you for coming to my channel. I thank you for commenting, subscribing, liking, sharing, and as always, I will see you in another galaxy far, far away. Bye. Time for a thumbnail. I gotta go get a book that stands in for Ling Ma. If we didn't get it, we didn't get it.